Um, <laughs> I came as a shock. <laughs> Sorry, I said she was introducing herself and she's shocked. She's going, what, I'm introducing myself? This is not you. Okay, <laughs> then, okay. Right, uh, okay, well, yeah. Uh, Marion from Patchwork Cutters. And tonight I'm going to show you uh, mainly the teddy bear picnic set and the clematis on a Mother's Day cake. But that one is mainly to show you how to sink a plaque um, rather than have um, a plaque sitting on top of a cake look like a cockle on a rock. It's just, you, you need to sink it to make it look nice. So well, we'll that's show that in a minute. So let me just pipe in. So I've just put Marion on the spot here because I've just come <laughs> running in right at the last minute. So you'll have to introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got Marion in from Patchwork Cutters. She's got a great dem for you. Do you want to show them this lovely um, oh. cake that you're going to do? Right, so cool. she's going to do um, Teddy Bear's Picnic for you tonight. Oh, that one. She's going to show you how to use the Tubby Alphabet. Somebody requested how to use the dartboard. Leave yeah. that there, don't oh, go disappearing okay. yet. Somebody requested how to do the dartboard, so we're going to have a look at that. Yeah. And then there's lots of other things. And anybody who places an order tonight buying patchwork cutters Marion has brought some gifts along and she's brought along um for the freebies are it's what they're called yeah, day at the races a day at the races bear in mind we've got Cheltenham next week yeah Ascot so a day at the races and um, so anybody who places an order um buying patchwork cutters off the website tomorrow we've got 15 giveaways to give away and we'll choose 15 orders that will pop those in great so do you want to tell us about this wonderful cake it looks fabulous Marianne. Fine. okay well um i'm not going to start with this i'm going to start with the no, dartboard just just, just so i'm going to show them what, they, what they're going to get aren't we what yeah gonna make so tonight? yeah so i'm going to just i'm going to just see back of this cake with the blue and the green as I've done the front so everything that's on the front I will be repeating on the back of the cake so that you you can you can see how to do it um, I haven't planned to do the um, the rainbow because I think most people know how to make a rainbow now but if if you don't <laughs> next time <laughs> <laughs> next time or later on if, if, if I work quick time. yeah <laughs> if you work quick right okay hmm. um, but yeah so I'm, I'm going to do that one and then the other cake which it's part finished um, I'm a bit croaky. I'm going down the pole. Don't worry. Right. So this this is going. To, so this is the the Mother's Day cake, right? And I'm going to have. I've left gaps so that I can show you about finishing it off without having to do the whole thing. Um, but here is going to be a nice little spray of um, clematis. clematis. <laughs> Not cyclamen like I put on before. Um, <laughs> yeah, it begins with a C, but anyway, that's about all that's uh, got in common. Um, yeah, so I'm just showing you little bits there. Um, the mum is embossed with the mini quilter, so that's sort of uh, nice to actually use something like that if you're going to do um, a sewing box um, because it, it has that sort of um, quilted effect. So it's, it's just showing you other ideas of using our cutters. So am I okay to start? Yeah, yeah of course you okay. can. Okay. Yeah. So matter. we're gonna. So a lady did ask on the last one. Could yeah. Marion do a quick demo on the um, dartboard? Yeah. And funny enough, I said to Marion, "It's a not a cutter you haven't got. <laughs> <laughs> you just say something, and she has it somewhere." So I'm quite fascinated about this. So uh, right. looking forward to it. Right. Well, I'm not uh, because I've got so much to show you. I'm not going to do the whole dartboard because it just repeats, repeats, repeats as you go around. Um, but I'm, I'm hoping that you will get the, the hang of it. The, the most important bit, or the, the hardest looking bit, is, the, is all the, the little numbers on here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really easy, she says, hoping. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just working now. This is the, uh, I use the Renshaw flower paste. Just use whatever you're you, you used to using. Um, but I, I like the Renshaws, I got used to it. And this is ready coloured, so, um, so straight away you're good to go. And you'll know from, um, if you've seen me do patchwork cutters before, you know that I use Trex, it's a, a vegetable shortening. So I use Trex on the board. And I will, I'll, I'll go as slow as I can yeah. with everything. Yeah, I'll slow her down, don't But worry. try and get as much in as I can. Yeah. Cause I'm not here until next month, so I've got to... <laughs> Don't worry, we'll keep over the top okay. so we can keep an eye on it. Okay, then. right, so roll out the paste. Now, the most important thing with all patchwork cutters, don't lift the paste up and down. It needs to stick to your board. And I know this is a non-stick board, I know, but um, 
you do really, that's why I use the tracks, you want it to stick down and not lift in the cutter. And that's the same, you'll see that on tonight, like every cutter I use is the same, um, same principle. Okay. So, Trish Collins, they're all in stock, the baby cubes, the polystyrene ones, yes, they've, Marion's brought them in tonight. Have we hounded you for them cubes? Yes. <laughs> so, yes. Don't think I've ignored her, she's been hounded to death by Laura from the office. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and pram bases are back in stock. Yeah, all there now. <laughs> right, so I'm putting tracks on the cutter, and this is this is quite an open cutter, so I'm not putting that much on. But later on, if I'm using it like when I do the candle on the birthday cake, it's so small. And I'll show you, explain more then about uh, how thin the paste has to be and how much tracks you have to use. But anyway, I'm just going to press round. Now press firmly around the outside edge, and because you've got to emboss those numbers in. And the only part of this that cuts really is should be round about round the outside edge. So give a flick, peel that away, and you've got your dartboard. So you can lift that. Um, I usually have a. That's it. Okay, so you just slide that underneath so it hasn't lifted into the cutter and then you put that onto a sponge um, to dry so I've got one here that's already dried I'll just put that onto one side <coughs> right now the next thing when it's dried to, you don't have to if I, if I can I show that one there can you, can you see that's all right yeah all these you don't have to pipe in there you, sm you soften some paste and you scrape it in and then wipe it off and that's left behind. So I'll do that now. Just do a little bit on there. So you can use royal icing for this or um, a little uh, of your flour paste. So I'm just working it first of all. Make sure it's nice and pliable. I'll keep that under wraps as well. Quite interested in seeing now how this is going to work. Yes. For me. <laughs> no, the one thing, I mean, I've brought so much prep to, for tonight, and the one thing that I've forgotten to bring on the J cloths, and that's what I normally use to wipe it. So I am going to use a piece of kitchen roll, so it should work, but we'll see. Do you want like um, a dishcloth, a clean dishcloth, a microfiber dish? Um, I think, no, I, I had a look at those before, and I think it might just be a little bit too heavy. I think yeah. this, should, this should work, it all right. Penny, have you had a new haircut? Because Barbara and Florence oh. says, so she's good, that Barbara, isn't she? <laughs> so, so I like your hair. Thank you. Yeah, that's Thank nice, isn't it? I haven't even noticed she comes it in was, every month. It was, <laughs> it was long before. Was it? Yeah. I went, I, I went sort of flicky uppy. Uh, oh, you did, yeah. I yeah. liked it like that. But, um, gone for chopping it back off again. Well, when I uh have, -huh, because when the wind gets you. <laughs> That flicky uppy flicks you over, does it? That, no, that's sticky uppy. <laughs> and I've got a scarf and my coat on, and I look like a wreck. So, <laughs> so um, I thought, right. Okay, well, we have a lovely audience watching. 256 people so oh, far. Fun. So right, lots of lovely. hellos from everybody. And we have our viewers on YouTube as well. Oh, yes. How many oh, have we got on okay. YouTube? Have a look. Ah. Right, so this that's will look a little bit of a mess as I go around. Just avoid that bit there. You're just smoothing this on first. You've got to be brave. I know, because does it not set fast? Um, yeah. <laughs> you work quick. <laughs> there is a reason why I work quick. <laughs> right, so you smooth that in. And this is when the, when it's dry, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that must be dry. Yeah. You're going to end up with a really odd shaped um, dartboard if, if you're trying to do this on a soft one. The nice thing about this is, and it's quite relaxing when you start putting all the colours in, but you can make them well in advance. And so even if you think, well, I don't really get asked for dartboards much. If you've got Father's Day coming up, well, it's not even just for men is it, the women yeah. play darts as well, um, just make a few, just just have them on a bit of a, a roll and then make a few. Right. It's a nice idea. 
Yeah, it's, it's just nice to pop one. They're not huge, are they? Let's get rid of that. I'll be covering that over in a minute anyway. Right, so get rid of them. Go around with your knife. Make sure that all those little numbers are filled. Are filled. Like that. Was that just water mixed with the flour paste? Yes, it was. It is, yeah. Is and it, it cold or tepid or hot? Is it what, sorry? Cold, tepid, hot water. Just just cold water. Yeah. Yeah. And so then you get, um, uh, this is where my J cloth usually comes in. So I'll just see how it goes with this. Move that out of the way. And so then you go around. Oops. I'll pick that up in a sec. You see what happens? It co the, the, That clears off. Oh, yeah. And you're left with... Clever girl, aren't you? How do you sit here thinking have, of things? I have my moments. Eh? You always fascinate, fascinate me on how you've just sat there. Have you made every design? Yeah. 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 Usually at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I used to say to Jess, oh, I've got a great idea. And then I'd, <laughs> You'd be off. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you can see on there that all the little numbers are filled. Now, you can, I'll just retrieve my knife, none of it's getting eaten, so it doesn't matter about that on the floor. Uh, <clears throat> so you just leave that to one side to dry, and I've got one here. Now you could paint the silver if you wanted to, um, depending on how, how long you've got. <laughs> um, but I usually just leave it like that. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna quickly roll out a little bit of red so that you can see the next stage so soften now this is all flour paste um, if I use anything else I'll let you know but uh, most of it tonight will be the flour paste so roll that out <coughs> sorry if I'm sniffing um, uh, Right, so roll, roll, don't lift, and then you take the cutter, again, treks up every time, um, treks your cutter, and pop that on. Now, as I said before, the only part of the cutter that actually cuts through is the outer circle. So, all these inner lines now, let me just give that a wipe. You just need to, you can take all that away. Okay. And just use water for sticking. You don't need anything, uh, any glues. And I very, very rarely use glues. So you miss one, so it'll be that one. Miss one, so it'll be that one. Because um, water with sugar makes its own glue. Unless I'm doing a, a sort of an elaborate model or something like that. Right, so that would go there, and then you're missing one. So you only actually ever need half um, because you miss, you know, it's every other one. Alternate them. I'm just tidying them up a little bit because it's not a cut line. You may get a little jagged edge, so you just go around like that and tidy it up. So you would continue with all the red, and then in the same section there, um, you would put the red to that. And exactly the same um, with the green in between, and then the green the little one, and then the yellow. So yeah, it's just that, literally it? covering them in, uh, uh, filling the spaces in. You've got all your marks there, and then you just put the little tiny bullseye there. Now, on the picture, it's a, it's a darker yellow. This is a little bit um, light, so you, you could go. You can do it any colour you want, can't mm. you really? Um, for the little dark, I'm going to have a pink and white, black dark board, is there? I said what, sorry? Nothing wrong with having a pink and black dark No, dark you can have whatever colour yeah. you want. Yeah, pink and white pink. Absolutely. Uh, right, so for the dark then, um, again, it's very small. So the, the smaller the cutter, or, you know, these bits here, uh, the smaller the cutter, the more treks you put in that cutter to the point where you you fill it, really. And then you would cut out your dart and again retracts. Just pop them in hot soapy water when you're finished. Don't let the 
don't let it sit in, in the sort of it's been picking up sugar and then if you leave it for a long time it also it go a little bit crystallized so um, just always wash them up when you finish so there's your little dot and then if you want to make it a little bit more 3d oh, that's a that's a, a sharp one um, you would take that right so you'd leave them both to dry and then you pipe a little bit of icing on there and when it's dry that would stand up like that okay and then do you want to show them when you make so it i've got it? one here yeah now i i attach those on with some white icing so what i would normally do now is just paint over the little bit of white there and let's get rid of that um, i'm just going to use a nice gold you silver whatever you want plus um we've got a nice gold on here Put it on the laminate. I do a lot of my colouring on laminated sheets because you can just wipe them down after. Hang on, move that over there. Um, little gold brush. Like that. So it takes really well. If you feel that it doesn't, then put a little bit of Trex on the back of your hand and the warmth of your hand will soften it. Then you can brush that on to your, your, your dart and then go over with the gold. So it just, you're using the back of your hand like a little paint palette, really. It always looks as though you've got a big bruise by the, by the time you finish painting. <laughs> but that then would go onto your dartboard. So say the, uh, the recipient is 18. Where's the 18 on here? It'll be at the bottom you there, like, don't you? Play, <laughs> you tell I don't play that, right. Okay, so um, you can just put that pointing towards there and um, yeah you can decorate it around the side so that's the dartboard I hope that's been helpful to um, the lady who was asking last time I can't time. remember which lady it is I know. but hopefully okay. she, she's watching if you're the lady who asked for it let us know that you're here and uh, and if you're not watching hopefully you will watch it and see it later yeah yeah right so on to the teddy bear um, cake so I'm going to cut out all the bits now um, that I'm going to use on the teddy bear cake so, uh, have you got any tissue? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Nothing's been eaten. Well, you can nip down and wash your hands. Uh, right, so I'm going to get my all my yeah, teddy bear pictures. Can't find your pockets. Oh no. Right. There we go. So here, this now, this is a smashing set because. As you know, we do have um, the parties and that coming up, don't we, in the summer for the Queen. I like the way you store everything in cake boxes. <laughs> yes. You've always done that, haven't you? I can see what yeah. I've got in. <laughs> um, if I label it, I stand a chance of finding it. Yeah. it. I always bring so much stuff that I just need to be able to see. Right, okay. So I'm just, first of all, I'm going to, am I right putting that yeah. over there? Not in your way. So you get lots and lots in here. You get a little birthday cake, which is great if you want to put lots of candles on for, a, for a, you know, a jokey sort of cake. You get these three bears, you get panda. Now this bear here is exactly the same bear, only slightly larger than, than the one, sorry, look, that's in the um, uh, teddy plaque. I mm -hmm. think you had some of those, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so you could use the little one, face, they face each other, so you, you know, for a Mother's Day thing. But anyway, I want to show you these, so I'll leave that to one side. Um, now I tend to cut everything out in white, but all the little bits. Um, and then I paint them up. So again, flower paste, soften it off. A little bit of Trex on there. And roll. And because some of them are really small, you need to roll your paste even thinner. So really just keep going. Now, I'll move that water out of the way because I know what will happen. So we'll start off with a little teapot. These are great for um, cookies as well. You know, you can cut lots of them out or even just emboss into your uh, ice cookie and paint them up. So you've got a little teapot and a cup. Now the handle of the cup 
it's very small so you, you do need to have the thin paste you have a little honey pot with it being a bear uh, I'll put this one side over there a plate of cupcakes Place of sandwiches. Never cease to amaze me. Really, with <laughs> <sex>. <laughs> um, now I'll leave that one for a second. Uh, a crown, so that they, they, uh, the little party person can have, or they can all have a little party hat on. Um, that's a flower. I'll leave that. Bows. Now I tend to cut loads of bows out because. They have them on the head, they have them uh, under the chin, so you can cut out lots and lots of bows. I, you'll see in a moment, I put mine in rows and then just paint them all in one go. Um, oh, the main cake. Now, I did this in 2016, oh, I think, when I first did these. And we've got a sort of drip cake going on here, who knew? <laughs> that that would become popular. Okay, so there's the birthday cake, and then we have a little bowl of fruit. For a balanced diet. <laughs> For the what, sorry? For a balanced diet. Yes, yeah, <laughs> part, part of the five a day. Now, this is, um, this is a little mole, and I will, sh I will show you on the cake up later on where I put my mole. I actually covered him up, you can't see him, but when I was putting everything on the side, I had the mole at the end and then I moved the panda over and it looked like the mole was uh, pinching the, the panda's bottom so <laughs> I ended up putting something else over that so it looks a little bit, uh, they've got quite a few things going on there um, on one end of the cake. This is a little daisy so you've got in the grass so you can either just pull the grass away or um, and have the daisy on its own or you can keep the the grass on there and then lastly this is a little tiny candle to go on the birthday cake so i'm looking now to see i don't know if you can see on there can you can you see yeah, on yeah. The, yeah you can right you can tell the paste is slightly thicker here than it is here but you can see the gray board just starting to um, alter the, the color of the, the paste so this little tiny candle really put plenty of treks on there and go to the thinnest part of the uh, thinnest paste, yeah? And so when you come to pick that up, you would pull the paste from the outside, around the outside edge. Just keep your knife on the, the candle as you go. And then you've got your little candle with the flame there. You just leave that to, always good if you can actually Dry it straight. It's a bit like the um, it's a bit like the dart. You've got to make that point really straight, otherwise it just doesn't look right. So you would then put these onto um, either a dust, uh, laminated paper, or um, I, I tend to use my little plastic scrapers as well. You know, um, putting stuff on. Sorry, this is white on white, but you'll see them all in a minute. Right. So just pull that paste away. Lift the little cake on there pull that away so you're just literally putting all these onto your dusting sheet with the crowns again you can cut out quite a few crowns there's the little um Just pack of cakes so they can oh, see it. well no i'm going to dust it and i don't ah, want, right. you know what i mean i don't want to wreck that but i will use that after because it's so far cleaner than mine eh? <laughs> we'll use it later Okay, now when you come to the bow, uh, take, let me get rid of all this rubbish first. Right, so, take the centre of the bow, that part first, so just loosen it, and then keep your finger on the little tails, and then you pull the paste from around the outside edge. Okay, so you've got your little bow. On there. Uh, again, remove the centre handle from the teapot, pull that away, 
slide your knife underneath just release it onto there there's a very small uh, piece to be removed from the handle uh, you can use a, a, a cocktail stick if you wanted to, to to pick these bits out but otherwise just hold on to the handle as you go around so you've got your little cup um, and what I have done on the cake the little teddy sitting on the right hand side I've, I've taken just the top cupcake and so it looks as though he's holding that one so when you've cut out oh I've lost my mole hang on have <laughs> you wrapped him up? There he is. I, I've just gone and scrooched him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Come on, Mary. Who's Daisy? Have you dropped a Daisy or something? Or is the mall called Daisy? Is the what? Is the mall called Daisy? No, there's no, a Daisy. There's a Daisy in it. Ah, because yeah. they're all going up to Daisy. Up to Daisy. Poor Daisy. What happened? Ah. What happened? <laughs> I scrunched him up. Oh, I? right. Right, so, so that's the little mole there, and he's got his, his hands up. But anyway, um, so colouring them in. Um, I like to do them now while they're still soft, um, but you can leave them to dry if you wanted to. So I like to get them done and out of the way. So things like the bow, and this is why um, I didn't want to rip um, Carol's nice pink. I'll just put a bit of kitchen roll on top. I don't do on kitchen roll because I like this to, um, they stick. So when I'm dusting, they're not moving about. Oh yeah, no, I mean, place. stick that on top of kitchen roll, then you won't have any go off the side. Oh, right, okay. That's what I'm thinking. Put and that, can, they put can that flick on the... It, yeah, yeah okay, they can yeah. flick it around then, can't they? Yeah, that's true. Like that? Yeah. That's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I like a challenge. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm just going to do one of these, and I'll show you then all the ones I have already done, because I don't want to be spending a long time painting. But something like the bow, just dust it over, yeah, like so. A nice golden crown. Uh, where's the golden hat? Oh, thank you. So again, if if you want it um, absolutely solid, where's it? Oh, it is. Um, you can just rub out. See a little bit of trex on there, and then go over with that, and you get a really solid. My grandchildren love this set because they 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 paint. I've got an actually. Uh, it looks like a unicorn. One of the teddies has got so many colours on it. Um, right. So this one. Then. Oh, it was Susan Hannan who asked about the dartboard, oh, and she right. said thank you so much. Oh, right. So good. I'm glad yeah, they were watching. <laughs> that's good. That's good. But if you do need any further assistance, just. So the dart, everything that Marion's using tonight is on the website. So all the customers are on the website. I put them all in the wish list. And while I'm on there, I put my last night's class on there and my next two classes are on there as well. So if you're interested in classes, those are on next. Right, so this is silver. Uh, um, as I was saying to Carol before, over the years, you do collect all sorts of um, paints and Colours, don't you? Colours yeah. and all sorts. But yeah, um, and I'm just using the Rejuvenator Spirit on there just to give it a silver board. And then I'm going to use, there was my water, I'm going to use um, a sort of, uh, which one do you want? Which colour? I'll go for a peachy colour. Oh, I can't get the top off. Got to do it. That's it. Got Trexy hand. And um, a touch of brown with that. Just mix that together. I'm going to take that down to a. I burnt the cake. This is a sort of a cake shade. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me to stick the egg in the way, won't you? Okay, so I'm painting that on. So whereas I've used um, that part dry, I yeah. wouldn't do this part dry because I want to paint uh, jam in there or paint jam in there. Yeah. And if I used it dry, it could travel over the part that I want to paint uh, white and pink. So you've got you've just got to look at it and think, hmm, 
Do I use it dry or do I use it? So any fine detail, um, do, then do, uh, do, do it with alcohol. Oh, right. Paint it, but anything like the teapot, I would probably go all over with the um, uh, with that one. I, I love this color, mm. uh, fusion green. So I would just go over the whole thing and then paint. You'll see in a minute the, the other little bits on on top. It will take right. So then I will just use a. I've used mulberry a lot tonight as well in the uh, flowers later. You're into the long haul here, guys. Pardon? You're in for the long haul. Oh, hole. birthday. Love right, staying. so does your jam, your jam would go on the bottom there. So we'll just put that jam there. And then, so I'm painting it in because it's a small area. I wouldn't even attempt to do that with dry. But clear your brush and then I'll use um, a white. Oh. I'll mix it on there. Got your tray? I've got blue in the lid. Oh. I tend to mix things as I go and then forget to wipe the lid down. Afterwards. I think you could have left that white as it was. You could, but the, the white will sort of make it shiny. So then you would put your little candle, where is it, there? And you can colour that and then that would go there. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so I'm going to show you all the ones now that I've already painted because it's not a painting lesson, it's just... Uh, I'm going to tidy up. There you go. You're going to do the teapot for them then? Oh, I can do, yeah. Requests, yeah. And they said they'll stay till midnight if they have to. <laughs> you might regret saying They're that. Hardcore. They're hardcore, <laughs> these lot. They really are. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so go I'm just going over with um, this one first of all. So just bring the colour down each side, lighter in the middle. I have got my little bellows, but I, I tend to try and work the colour in so there isn't much uh, loose colour on there. Um, and then I would paint, so I'm going to put um, that nice mulberry with it. And again, rejuvenate it. I'm just going to go over that. Uh, I'll do the lid. Looks nice, that. Huh? And you can, I mean, it, it's a kid's cake. If you want to, if it's for um, a party, like a street party or something, and you put them on um, cookies, then you can paint flowers and all that sort of thing on there, can't you? In fact, I'll do the handle to match. Okay. So, yeah, cups to match, all that sort of thing. So just introduce your, your colours. So I'm going to get the ones out that I've already um, painted. Let me find them. There they are. So before, when I was saying about, um, I do lots of rows of um, bows, so I've got them there, yeah? So I go along and I just dust them while they're stuck on this. And then there's my daisies, which I've gone over, painted the green, brushed white satin, yellow in the centre. So I've got my birthday cake, my honey pot, little honey pot there. Uh, white sandwiches, brown sandwiches for the healthy ones. <laughs> okay, so that's all the bits that I'm going to use on, on the actual um, cake in a minute. So I want to show you now about cutting out the bears and, and a, a, a nice way of colouring them um, so they don't just look flat. Okay, so I should have some brown. Okay, so I'm just going to go for this. So if you're looking to buy cutters tonight, they're all on the website. If there's any that, um, we actually used to stock all the range, but the Marion has so many, crikey, it would take up our whole warehouse. Mm. So um, I don't know where she thinks of all these fabulous ideas, but um, I will be placing another order to Marion tomorrow. So if there's something that you're looking for that we don't have on the website, let me know and I can get it in for you as well. Right, so I'll just move that up a little bit. Um, that this feels really soft and I don't know why because it is uh, flower paste but it may be that I've used um, a paste colour sometimes the paste colours because the glycerol um, can make the paste a little bit softer but that, that'll be alright so I'm just going to do this one for now uh, this is my favourite are you still, are you still got your books that you do? Or yes, we've got, no no we've got books um, I, I've 
Yeah. So one lady says she's got up to number 18. How many oh, I've got 19. Well, I didn't right. bring any more out because people just don't want books. Well, some people don't want books. <laughs> um, I love a book. But uh, there's such a lot now on uh, YouTube. YouTube. And stuff, yeah. yeah. Right, so I press around the outside edge, just give a little flip. So I've got the bear, pull the paste away. Yeah. And then you would put that to, to um, you can put it to dry, or as I say, you can colour it straight away. I'm going to colour this one straight away. Uh, let me just see if I can lift that up. Where did I put my. As I said, it's a, it's a little bit soft. Right, so I'll just put him on there for now. Right. So. <clears throat> I'm just going to mix. I did have a nice coffee and I don't know where, where that's gone. But anyway, I'll probably find it after. Okay, so I'm going to use mainly the brown, but then I'm going to add normally iced coffee or iced toffee, something like that. But I'll just use a little bit of that, just to lighten it slightly. And then, um, to colour it, um, this next just parting company is probably there. Um, I'm going to bring the colour from around the outside edge. Now, you can take the excess off on a piece of kitchen roll. Okay, so just make sure he's stuck down. But I like to just work it into my brush in the lid, like that. And then around the arms, a little bit around the snout. So I'm just from the outside in, as I say, just to darken around there. Now if you, you could cut out extra feet and put them on top just to make it a little bit 3D. Um, I'm going to paint these feet in. Depending on how much colour you want in the ears, you can either paint it or dust it. If it's going to be dusted it's going to be nice and pale. And we'll give him a pink nose. I got the spammer, don't worry. I spotted him, he popped up and I got him straight away. Oh, I think somebody got in touch with me before and said, I fr friended somebody and it's a... Spammer, yeah. I've been... It's like you get loads of them if they I say... I me bob to something. Yeah, some say know. if you... Are you in this video? Or I got one yesterday asking how am I, Carol? Oh, that's what person. they just said to me. That's what they do. Random person, hi, how are you? Um, how are you and your family? Oh, God. I just blocked them straight away. Right, so I'm just outlining, as I say, just going around with my brush. So you've got this little fellow here. Okay. And so then cute, that, the detail the, you brought it, out in that piece. Yeah, it's just, that it's just getting the shading. Now, this one here is a little panda. So you cut it, you cut it out in And this way. is all in the same set, Teddy Bear's Everything picnic. Everything I'm using is in yeah. the same set. So this set is on the website for £7, which is brilliant. So great set, really cheap, isn't it? Yeah. You None of Marion's cutters are expensive though, are no, they? No, no. Suitably priced. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not cheap, suitably priced. <laughs> right, so this one I've cut out in white, yeah. And then I've rolled out, shall I, shall I, I'll yep. do the black bit here in, rather than just explain it. I'm just going to work that. Yeah, they are fabulous value uh, breeder. What did I say? <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> um, this one is the Teddy Sheep. Bear's Picnic Sheila. And it's seven pounds for the set. I think the dark board is four pounds for the set, or four pound fifty. Pound, for, like yeah, that. four pound for the set, the dark board, or four pound fifty. Um, the tummy I'm letters we're going to put on in a minute. I think they're seven pound, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Very, very reasonably priced. To be fair, they're incredible. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is the little panda. So I've, I've cut it out in white. To 
begin with. So while we're talking about offers on at the moment, John's put an offer on for the top five flavours as well of icing sugar. £10, that's £2 a bag. So that's on offer. Um, all the new stuff is on what's new. I put it in the fit in the wish list. So if you want to go to the website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to the wish list, March, Marion Frost, and you'll see all the new stuff as well as what Marion's got in. So you see, I've removed that the paw and the uh, the foot pad there. Um, so you take your dried white piece here, right? Uh, am I am I all over the place, Terry? I'm sorry. No, we're fine. We're all right. Okay. I do do that. Uh, pick up your water brush. Right. So again, I'm just using water. Oh, I forgot to put the water brush in the website, but if you if you go and do a search, there's a, a water brush there as well. So I'm just first of all, I'm just taking his little ear, pop that on top. Now, if the white one underneath snaps off, don't worry about it. You can just you can just attach that anyway, because most of these are on, um, you know, they don't freestand. They're against a cake. But as I say, my kids, my my kids, my grand, my my forty year old kids love making those. Uh, mm. My grandchildren love making these. <laughs> right, so I'm just moistening that. I'm just taking the arm. The pop that on top and then give it a little press around the outside edge and that just takes the black around so you don't see uh, right we need that ear it's looking strange at the moment isn't it it's all going to pull together <laughs> <laughs> it's like something out of space or something strange my panda his, nice. his mother loves him yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So just get that on there, and then get rid of the head. We need the back leg. So a little more. Oh, that's come off. Don't worry. Oh, we were doing so well, weren't we? Okay. We do need to get that off there because it's his white tummy. Now, if I if I do that and then just press that over, that will. Be enough to to when it dries that will catch it right and then we don't need the tummy so we can get rid of that but everything else we do need um, should use my water brush I think It's coming together now, isn't it? Know, Weird, so isn't it? <laughs> and then you have uh, the pink, which I've got on the go here. So you could cut out an, a pink pad and place that in, or just paint it. Oh, it's fine, just paint it in like that. A little bit in the ear, and then a tiny touch of the black. Do you do a cricket set? We like do. We, cricket. We do a uh, cricket. Um, um, I don't know what you call them, <laughs> the posts and the bit of bale ah, right, across yeah. the top and a bat and a ball yeah. but it's not, we, we have got cricket in our uh, very small ones for cupcake sizes and embossing round boards and that in our um, sports set you get, you get three different sports in that so what I was going to say while I've got the black on there um, any, any like round that leg there any little bits of white that's showing that shouldn't be you can just go around and touch those in um, a little pink mouth like so and then just a hint of pink i've probably got enough on my brush anyway just to put a little bit of pink on the cheek wickets so they're called like that wickets wickets that's yeah. the word that's the word oh look how he's come together yeah, so See, the thing so is, I had his eyes in the wrong place. I thought they were weird eyes. They're his ears. I'm just gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's why I didn't look so 
Now he looks like a panda. <laughs> I was thinking they were very strange eyes yeah. then. Yeah. Hang on, they yeah. <laughs> I won't go there. Right, so that's the, so we've got that one, and then we've got these here, right? So I just want to show. You. Did anybody else think they were the eyes? <laughs> it's all come together at the last minute, hasn't it? <laughs> you do get a picture in the in the um, <laughs> in the pack, <laughs> which is just as well. Right, so what I'm going to do then? I'm just going to go right. So with this one again. Oh. Yeah, so we've got the extra layer. I don't know if I told you about that then. But this arm, you, you've got to think foreground. So this arm here, I've cut out twice and I've put that on top of. Can you see that? Yeah. Because I've done the same with this one. This one's got the extra layer of foot and the extra layer of arm. This one has got the extra snout and the extra feet. So it's bringing it more into the foreground. So I do, oh. I do just need to colour these quickly. So I'm just going to chase them. And breeze with me. She thought the same. Did she? Yeah. Optical illusions. Yeah. <laughs> I kept looking at it thinking, there, how are you going to sort them eyes out? You're looking at it from an angle, you yeah. see. If you're looking at down, you see, it's like this one here. You think his ears should be up here, but he's got low ears. But you can see, but just by bringing that colour round the outside edge, so that's got the extra layer of arm, extra layer of foot, and that's all it needs. And then oh. paint that in. The um, alcohol or the, the rejuvenator does evaporate very quickly, so you do need to just keep topping that up. And I'm just going to go into the eye there. We've taken most of that off. Oh, I've missed his paw. So I'm going to put these on the back of the cake now. Sorry, I've just made a real mess of my hand, but that's how I work. I'll, uh, I will wipe it now. It looks so cute, that. So that's that one. So that's yeah. the one that I put the little single cupcake in his hand. Um, let me get rid of that. And I do need to just whiz round this one again, if you, know, if you don't mind, because I. Um, I'm saying you like lightning, Marion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to slow her down. <laughs> she actually needs to speed up again. <laughs> I just want you to see as much as. I'm just, I'm just going along, um, around the outside, but again, along where the little creases are. I'm not even going to ask what that is. The dishwasher has suddenly come on. Oh, right. Okay. Don't know why. Right, so this one, um, again, we'll paint, paint the pink in. So we'll give them a pink nose again. Pink, pink, little pink mouth. Pink. They're all saying they wish they could work as fast as you. And she does it stood up as well. I'd have had my broken back by now. <laughs> I've grown into this position over the years. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jerry with his guitar, and he always think he stands up and it's like that. Right. Uh, rejuvenator. So this is just to put the little dots in the eye. I mean, obviously, if you're a painter, you can go to town on this and spend yeah. loads of time doing it. Right, now, where's that little bow? Let's give them a little bow. So, um, I have, when I softened that icing before, I have also softened some... Um, Okay. I'm requesting it because you're on speed. We knit round and do someone's housework. Donna Jeffrey says. <laughs> housework? What's that? <laughs> Who? Yeah. It's just like playing with the cutters. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to stick a little bit. Now this is softened paste. Um, as I did for the dartboard, you know, adding water to the flour paste. I've added water to this little bit of sugar paste because I'm going to pipe with that later. Um, so I'm going to take a little bow. I'll give him that one. Her uh, that one. Thank you. 
okay and then I'll put a little bit of a little bit more there I've got a crown somewhere I've never ever cut out so if this is the party Debbie well, says uh, Debbie says watch your Marion is strangely hypnotic I have to agree it is you sit there in awe don't you <laughs> yeah it's like therapy time. speed you go I'd still be thinking about it when I'm on just on the paths <laughs> <laughs> right, so there's the crown that I cut out before, so I'll just stick that on. Oh. So he's got his little party hat on. Oh, that's cute. Right, so I'm just going to put those to one side because I'll put them on the back of the cake, cake in a minute. So the next bit that I'm cutting out, I've got the bows, I've got the bits, and I've got my flowers. That head can go. Definitely the dark one can go. I've got all the teddies. Um, so on the cake is the lettering. So I'm just going to show you this tubby alphabet while um, before I start assembling the cake, okay? So, so everything Marion's using tonight is on the website, ladies. Sugar and crumbs, pop over to Patchwork Cutters. Or if you go to the front page of the website, you'll see there's an FB Live wish list. Drop into March, drop into Marion, and all the cutters she's using tonight is there as well. If you're lo looking for non-stick boards, we've only got large left, no extra large. Um, the man that we get them from is saying that he's not prepared to pay the stupid prices that they're asking for. So he's waiting for prices to come down, so I've got to wait with him. Uh, but we do have rolling pins in stock, we do have foam trays and pads and things like that. Okay, so still using the flower paste. Now this set is called Tubby. Um, and it stays like this. You don't start. I was going to say, do you not break it up? No, no, no because you're never going to lose anything, are you? Right. Okay. So what you do is, and our classic is the same. At the same height, they're just thinner and daintier. But I, I love this one, especially for kids' cake. Well, I love it anyway. It's so easy to do. So roll out your paste. I'd have been sat there breaking them up. Some so people have. So glad you said that. Yeah, some people have said, couldn't you do a handle on the back of these? But you're not supposed to take them apart. So what you do is, trex all along. It's easier to just, rather than try and pick out from the back there, just trex the whole thing, put it on. Press firmly along the row. I've done mining all in capitals. If it's for a child's cake, you probably do it in lowercase as well because they don't recognise maybe the capital of the give that a flick. And so if you knew if you keep these bits because if you need an extra A or an extra Y, on the lowercase um, you do get on here two S's, two T's, two R's, two O's, two P's. So happy birthday. You've got everything that you need. So I'll just cut a couple of these out so that you can see how they cut. So then you take your, normally I use a cocktail stick, but you just take your, um, you see my hair? Yeah. Take that from there, take that from there. So I'm just showing you as an example now. So I'll do an A as well. Look at that. So then if you have your just cut, lift and peel the paste away and you're done. A little square, lift, peel the paste away. So that's how you do that one. Um, these are exactly the same. You can um, just pull the paste away without cutting the square, but I just find it easier to, to, cut, to cut the square. So, um, yeah, just, just that's it, with the S. Again, cut your square. So I've done on the cake, happy birthday. Like so. Okay. I've, I've gone out to shot it, haven't I? But anyway. So did you, did, did you catch that all right? Yeah. All right with that. So, that's so that's the chubby alphabet. So that's really easy to use. Now, before I just put everything on the cake, I just want to show you um, about using these for cookies because um, it's dressing them. 
I'm not eating anything. I've just opened a pack of tubby cutters because <laughs> I've asked Marion three times now to pass me the cutter. Oh, she okay. heard me. No. <laughs> so I thought I'll open this new set. <laughs> you stand absolutely no chance whispering down my ear <laughs> because I'll be like. I went past no. the cutters so up and have a look. And you just ignored me. So I've opened up this new set. To I be did, fair, it'd be I hard just, to break this up actually. That's what I was looking they're at. They're quite solid. Yeah, you can break The them. nice thing about it, you're not going to lose anything, are you? No. You know, you ha you're not going to ring me up and say the dogs at yeah. one of the letters or something. No, they are solid, so you right. don't want to break them up. So, what I'm going to do now is take this teddy. I think you like this bit. So, where's my big teddy? Right, so just cut out the centre. Yeah? And then cut across where the arms are. You can go a bit lower if you want. Pull everything else away. And then in here, I've got some little plaques. So the cookies. Yeah? So this one, I've just embossed and I've painted it. I haven't cut anything else out. I've just painted it. So I'm going to put a little bit of water on there. That all right there. I'll just take a little bit more off but it's a nappy. So that's, that's the little baby one, so he's got his nappy on. Now this one, the next one, same thing, but I will cut this one slightly higher. The picnic set, is that 950 the picnic set? Um, I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think you said seven. Before, I think I said seven before. It's nine fifty. Sorry, 9 ladies. 50. It's only because yeah. there's such a lot in yeah. it. No, Mar Margaret Kirk just said the picnic set is nine pound fifty. Right. But sorry about that. That's my fault. It's because no. I I already had it on the website, but I went and put three other products on that Marion brought tonight. No, you, I, I arrived with all sorts of. Yeah. <laughs> right. So this one I've taken up higher than the nappy. I've gone to, across where the arms are, and then I'm just going to use a, just a little bit of the paste just to cut a couple of straps. Yeah, it's called Teddy Bear's Picnic. There's actually lots in it, so apologies for that. Tum it's because I just had the price in mind of the cutters that she brought in tonight. I think it was the tub, you know, I don't know. Pardon? I think it was the tub, but yeah, I'm not yeah. sure which one. Right, so this one, um, I'm going to cut on here. So I've got this one. So again, a little water. So this one goes up to the arms, if you like. So this is a little romper suit. Just give it a press. Do you still make more designs, Marion? Do you bring out any more stuff? We haven't brought any out for a while um, with everything that's been happening and what have you, but uh, probably will. Because was your newest ones your pretty big stuff? Yes. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah. The, uh, pretty You're going to use one of your pretty big stuff tonight, Well, I'm going to show about the sunken plaque using one of those. Yeah. Now, the, the strap, I'm just overlapping slightly over the suit. Right, so we've got baby. We've got a little boy, maybe. Now, I, I would normally use, uh, let me see, oh, a number. Say number two nozzle for the buttons. This is number three. I'll just press that in there. So you've got two little buttons on um, this romper suit. So that can go. It's clever. Uh, it? <laughs> it's like those cardboard things that you used to buy, and then cut out the cardboard clothes and stick oh, them on, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. So pop him or her there. So we've got a baby. We've got a little boy, and then for the little girl. And with your breeder. So somebody's put my knickers go that high. Right, yeah. <laughs> I should read it says mine too. Yeah, so do mine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, the lesser cutters are they're called the tubby cutters. Uh, tubby, tubby, alphabet. tubby alphabet. They're on the website. They've just gone on tonight because somebody requested them last time and Marion was using them. So they've just gone on the website tonight. Right, so this one is for, so we've got the baby, we've got the little boy, and so this one is for a little girl. Now what you do need, um, do you have the FMM carnation cutter? Yes, I do. You do, okay. So I use that one because it's perfect fit for what I'm doing now. So same thing, you, 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 you do this part here, cut across there. 
pull everything else away. I'm just going to put a little water on there. So this is the, this is this can be a, a little ballet dancer. Two, three, take the last away. So just make the straps exactly the same, but then um, it's just as though you were going to make a carnation for the dress, for the little skirt. And it looks so pretty. Right, so that's the, the same as for the romper suit. Where did I put that one? Right, so I'm going to use, um, I think I, I do two layers, it's quite a while since I've done this. <clears throat> Jill on YouTube says, mine too, apple catchers. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> For the underwear. What? what are they called? <laughs> For the underwear. Oh, the big pants. Yeah. Bridget Jones pants. That one. So I'm going to cut out two of these. then we're on to pink on pink now okay so just going to frill around the outside edge now whether you frill on a sponge or whether you want to do a cocktail stick on something firmer then that's fine and then you turn it over just as you would if you're going to make a carnation But you don't do a Z fold, you do a, a straightforward fold. Right, turn that one over. Then moisten the centre, fold it in half. Same with that one. Fold it in half. Moisten, place that one on top, and then That's cute, that. you use. Now this bit is important. Don't just plonk that on; it doesn't look right. You use your the, the large end of your piping nozzle just to cut that centre away, and it as it cuts, it it, it slances up a little bit. That's cute. And, and then that will just fit across the waist. Can you bring it down? Yeah. Thank you. That's clever, isn't it? <laughs> so she's got a little frilly frock. That's so nice. <laughs> I like that. And then you can just go back and I'm just pressing the waist down just to secure it on. So that just makes a nice little pattern. And then you can go back and just frill that up. So it's a party dress. You can put a little crown on, you could put a bow in her hair. In fact, I've got a little pink bow there, so that will do. When they're dry, you have to remember that they don't bend <laughs> these bows. So she's got a little bow to match. Okay, so that, that can go on another plaque. So That's clever, got, isn't it? Um, a little boy, a little girl, and a baby for that. Mother's Day. Yeah, I love that. Like that, and then you can always brush on um, a little green. Let's see, she can be sitting in the grass. So cute, isn't it? I should have stuck That's it on wonderful. with a little, the, just the, 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 the green just helps to lift it a little bit. Right, so I'll put those to one side. I'm just I think gonna, it looks great on there. I'm just going to do the um, the side of this cake. Oh, plenty of time. So I'll bring the cake over, yeah. Let's clean that away, get rid of those for a bit. So I'm just going to colour it first of all. So the actual cake itself um, is just one layer, 10 inch square. Um, you don't, you know, if, if you're having a, a little party, you don't need a great big massive cake. 
I know, people do think they do, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And you don't. So this is a 10 inch square cut into three strips and then stacked one on top of the other. Yeah. Um, can I, oh, while you look at that, can I just wash all my hands? Yeah, all my hands. I've only got two. <laughs> so just to let you know, everything is on stock on the website, but I've just seen an email from Karen Daly, sorry to stick my nose in, but her new cutter, her new mould that she released as well is arriving tomorrow. That's her new heart mould. Oh, it's fabulous. Yeah, so we've it. got her other old mould, so her other new mould in stock so i'm just going to go and update the website because if you're placing orders you might want to pop that in your web in your basket oh, as well yeah. it's actually on the website but we're just waiting to have confirmation the stock was on the way so if i leave your comments for a minute will you be all right yeah yeah and i'll be back yeah I'll be back yeah so don't forget throw all marion's um cutters into your shopping basket and then you can throw karen davies new wicker mold in it's a new wicker no. heart mold isn't it oh it's beautiful yeah. beautiful it is all of those are beautiful, aren't they? So all I'm doing now is just rubbing a little... Now, if you've got an airbrush, then, you know... Um, one moment, please. I'll just do just this kind of... Okay. I'll just get the glue out as well. There we go. You okay? Yes, you can see now. So I'm just doing a light dusting. I'm not, I'm not doing anything too heavy here. Just a light dusting of, of the green. I don't want to detract, I don't want it to be too harsh with all the, um, the, bit, the busyness of the colours. Oops. And again, with the blue. This is, this is a nice light blue. It's a pearly one. Um, it's one, again, I've had in the, in the toolbox. So. But there's loads of, of um, things out on the market. That's what happened around the front as well. I've got a few strong spots which have made a mark, but it doesn't matter. We won't uh, get upset about that. Right, so I'm just going to, oh, I'll use that. I'm going to paint um, along there. Now, you may not see much of this because um, the, the bears and everything else will cover it, but it, it's just um, a nice way to, um, to fill that in between the bears and what have you. So let's just get that on there. So to begin with, hang on, let me give that a little bit of a blow. Mandy's absolutely loving the letter cutters and the picnic set, Marion. Oh, good. Fab. Aww. So I'm just putting on some grass. I'm just giving that a little flick. Number six brush, something quite quite chunky, really, to begin with. Okay. I'm going to take that off like so. And then I'm going to uh, go find a brush and go into a dark green which is here somewhere. And what is it that you're using to put on the grass? Um, the colour or the, the um, rejuvenator spirit. So, so it's a rejuvenator. Rejuvenator, yeah. Um, now I need to see where my dark green is. Where's that from? I haven't brought that either. Surely I have. Oh, there it is. So many colours all over the place now. Started off nice and tidy, but it's that's still put a stop to that. Right, so fine brush, darker green, and then just go back and just give, give a few fi fine flicks. Not all at the same angle, just move them about a bit. Oh, it was the sponge. Yes, it oh, was just a, a sponge. Yeah, a, a piece Sorry, of sponge. Sorry, yes, yeah. yeah. Yes, um, dry. Just so I just I just dip that uh, little piece of sponge into the dry dust and then brush it along. Because not everybody has uh, an airbrush. Um, if I if I'd mix mix alcohol with it, um, and it, it could have been too strong. So I'm just doing that sort of grassy bit there, and then I'll mix the pink. And is the lower and upper case one whole set? Or it is. Separate? Yeah. Upper and lower is all in one set. So I'm just going to move these cookies out of the way. Get a bit crowded. Right. Right. Let's get these in. Uh, and so then you can. Um, it just it just makes a nice edge for whatever cake you're doing, really, for a, for a little one, isn't it? So you're just going to tap in lots of little dots that just like loopings but again just keep them Aww. 
keep them on there. It's looking great. If if you find that uh, you, you know, like that one's a bit heavy, uh, that's where the cake's going to go, the, 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 or the teddy bear. <laughs> but you can do these in different colours. You can do the long, the tall ones in like a pink, and then some lower ones in like a lilac or a blue. Um, so they look like little forget me nots or something, you know. It's just getting a background so that if, if there's a gap between any of the bears or anything, you can um, just paint that in. Right, so I have got some. Um, I've some... seen it, you, it makes, you make it look so easy. It's, the thing is with that is to keep it, keep it loose. Don't, don't try and be too precise with that. It's dot, 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 flick, flick, flick. It's, if, you, if you take your time, it becomes too even. You want it to look free. And, and uh, I'm just going to use a little bit of this and some water. So this is just to attach everything now onto the side of this. Um, let me see. I'll use that one. That's it. Right, so uh, I'm just going to add some water to this. And I'll, I'll use, I'll pipe with this now. So I've also done this on the, with some pink icing, which I'm going to use on the Mother's Day cake in a moment. Um, but it's just handy to have, if you haven't got any royal icing, um, just just softens down some of your sugar taste. Okay, so do that. One of these asking, do you have numbers and pound like a LB signs for gym weight cake toppers? Um, we have we have small numbers uh, to go with the tubby. Actually, we haven't got very small numbers to go with the classic. But the, the, the small numbers, uh, we have easy twist ones and they all twist away so you have separate numbers. Um, or there's, a, there's one which is very much like the tubby, they're all stuck together and you just press over which you want. And they're only about three quid, three fifty. Um, but they are, this, they are rounded so they go nicely with the tubby alphabet. Now I'm just going to pop that into a bag. I'm not going to bother with um, a piping nozzle for this one. So I'll just pop that in. And we'll it, fold left, right, and fold it down so that you get a nice little pad to push against. And clear that away. Right, so I'm just going to take my little figures. So we'll start off with this one. We put a hole in the bag. Now what I did do, and I, and I haven't done this time, have I? Um, I've used some um, brown paste. So if you have, um, if you're doing a square cake and you think, oh, the corners look a little bit rubbish, or if you just want to have it so that it's um, it's nicely um, edged, then just roll out some of your flour paste in brown, like that, and then use your dressing tool. So I'm just going to really sort of mark on a few little lines so it looks like a tree and then cut through the top turn it over moisten the back like so and then you can pop that up the side and that will just hide any um, not squared corners if you like so that's your little tree on that side and then we'll do one on the other side so again roll it into a sausage and then mark off and I'm just going to make a little cut at the top so that can go on the top a little water pop that up the side And so what you can do with those, um, so I've got that teddy on, and um, I'll, put, I'll put the party bear. So just a squiggle of the softened paste, that can go there. And 
then a birthday cake. I'll bring these in. Oh. That's fantastic. Okay, so we'll put the birthday cake on there. Let's just turn that over. I mean, the birthday cakes are on the other side as well, so you don't actually have to have a birthday cake. You, could, you can go to town with more of your uh, your little bits of food, etc. if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, Kit Curran, have you asked this one for Kit? Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> she did ask me before, actually, and I, I forgot. I meant to ask, but I forgot. What? About the pounds and weights. Like it, like for a gin. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. This looks fabulous, Marianne. I have to say I'm well impressed. Now, see, see that one? That's that's the, the, the cupcake. So I've cut the top one off and done that separate. So if I turn that round quickly, so you can see that I put that one in that little hand there for that bird. Yeah. So it looks as though it's something. It's, it's hands up. You could do a little balloon even, couldn't you? Um, it doesn't have to be a cake or anything off here. Now, this one, um, you can put it onto the tree like that so that it's a little bit more 3d it's sort of standing off there and you've got your brown and your white sandwiches sandwiches so we pop those on there i love the little cupcakes they're cute, yeah, they're so they? cute. <laughs> have to there. get this set myself yeah well <laughs> do you know what for kids if you cut them out yeah because you 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 all your grandkids yeah and just give them up honestly ours just spent ages yeah. just colouring them in and then give them some digestive biscuits for them to stick them on. You haven't even got to go uh, mad on the biscuits, although you do a lot of baking anyway, don't you? Right, I don't know, I've got a Karen. I've got a Karen and I've got a Laura. Oh, I do all the baking Laura's now. Fantastic, isn't she? <laughs> right, and so then your little, your little um, birthday candle, I don't know where that's gone. And then you've got your little daisies so they can go on. Uh, just place them on with or without the greenery so it's just it's just building up I mean that's the back of the cake isn't it and then um, we've got just the, the, the last few bits of thing oh yeah um, I softened some green already so this is uh, again sugar paste which I put green colour in and I'll make another little bag again you don't have to have a, a pipe and nozzle just, just um, I, I tend to still use piping but a paper Piping bag, that's not uh, hard to say, not easy to say, um, because sometimes it's the tiniest amount that I want, and a, 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 a paper bag um, is easier. So you would just pop that in, squeeze, rip, it, rip the knife, and then pull it out. Okay, and then a small hole. And then you would squeeze and pull down for your little leaves. Squeeze, pull down. We're all saying how stunning it is. Okay. So we're all saying how stunning it is. I oh. think it's fabulous. Any kiddies would like this, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'm gorgeous. really tempted to have a go myself. I know, <laughs> And then with the with the, the the rainbow, I'm sure you've all made rainbows. Um, I just have a. I start off with that roll the thin sausage of paste, mm. place it round and I work three out, take that away and then I work two in. So you, you, Good you, idea, you've, got that. you've got that to start with. And so you're just building it up. You can put, you could make a sun there. Karen's mm. got a fantastic um, weather mould set. So yeah. her sun on there with clouds and stuff, it would look really good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so that, that's it. That, that, and then you've got your happy birthday fantastic, Marian. on there. So that's all in capitals. And then that, there's a little candle um, on there, but you can go to town. And the, the, the clouds up there, it's just a piece of white paste. And that just secures it. I have put my, my, um, my rainbow on a cocktail stick. So it's got the cocktail stick in that, just in one of the sausages. I agree in that. I think my granddaughters would love this. So you take, take that down. We've got a multicolored one here now, um, and then you can just use your Dresden tool to mark off. Was this a 12 inch square or a 10 inch? I a think ten, you said a 10 inch, didn't a ten you? 10 inch, yeah. yeah. 
Um, so that would just make it a little cloud and then they can just be attached um, on the top there and one either side really, one at the front one at the back. Right, so I'm just going to move all this out of the way. But that's the, the, the cookies go oh, nice I with I with the. Show this oh, sorry. So that Don't be rushing off here. <laughs> <laughs> can you turn it so they can see it? <laughs> that way. The side you've done. Oh, the side I've done. Yeah. Can you face to them so they can have a good look? What are you doing? There's the camera. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm looking me. here. I'm not looking here. <laughs> this, this camera is a Show them. very detailed. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's right. Perfect. Don't they normally come in the side? Close yeah. Up. Oh, right. Okay. No, but that's the one where she's asking if she'll go for this zoom in there. This is a finale there. camera once you've done your, your bit. Oh, look at that. A finale camera. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is that a hint? <laughs> <laughs> For right. that cake. No, you're not going anywhere yet. Got loads to show. Oh no. <laughs> Hold your cake mm. now. Can I, can I move it now? Yes. Yeah. You you're talking to someone here who, um, I don't know if I've told you this, but ages and ages and ages ago, um, we used to do um, Dems and stuff at, it was the craft centre on Brimstead Hall Craft Centre. And they had, it was one of the first ones I'd ever done. And um, in, in a, a large, room, I think there's about 100 and odd people there, and um, I think I spent the whole time showing everything to the projector, yeah. not to the camera, oh, it right. was just to the, <laughs> <laughs> they were like, okay, that was uh, how they go in, right. And well, they're all saying it's absolutely gorgeous. We've kept a cracking audience. Oh, just good. under 260. It's been over 260. It's been up to 270 something. So right. we've done well. So um, on the wish list tonight, all the cutters that Marion has used is on the wish list. Um, there's also some new products in there. John's popped a okay. new bundle of icing sugar on, the, sugar on there, which is your top, which is our top ten sellers. So he's put a bundle on for ten pound. So that's two pound a bag. So that's great. So if you're putting those in your in your basket mm. as well, Karen Davies' second new uh, release is in the um, wish list. I've not put her first one in actually. She I don't, I don't know where she ago. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but Karen Davies is in the kitchen next Wednesday, so you'll see Karen next Wednesday. She'll be here. We've got some of our Dem Days on again. Have you put have you put your Dem Days back on? Yeah. When are you doing them again? Uh, the next one. I just saw pop up on the website before. Um, it came out last it's Saturday. Is Jerry Chew at it? Yes. Yes. It's Jerry. Because yeah, she was she was Jerry was going to do. Do the one two years ago yeah, and we yeah, had to cancel. Yeah. And Leanne Town, who yeah. everybody who comes to our Dem Days will know Leanne, she's absolutely brilliant. And Karen. And Where are you doing that? Myself, Thornton Hall. Thornton Hall, what day? Yeah. 3rd of July. 3rd of Third July. July. Yeah, so and it went well, you'll be in, so have you sold your tickets yet? Because we can tell them about it. Well, we have. Um, it went out last Saturday, and I think there's 12 left. Oh, right, okay. It's gone really well. Well, I think I'll, I'll save me one, I'll come. Oh, right, okay. Not to do a dem, just come have a nosy. I, li <laughs> I like them. Uh, I, li I like your dem days, they're great. Yeah. But, but it's How a much are the tickets? Thornton Hall, £75. Pound. That's yeah. um, two course hot coffee lunch, four yeah. demonstrations. Yeah. Big goodie bag. Yeah. And um, refreshments throughout the day. So, yeah, it's really good. So... With this one, this is this is the mini quilter that I was telling you about. So press on there. Now you can go over with your pearl colours if you wanted to. I think it's just I, I was debating whether to do more of those, but I think people just want to you do, don't you? You just want to come out now and yeah. all meet and have a that's why our demo days are so good as well. Yeah, People yeah. just want to come out and get to see each other again. Yeah, and they've yeah. made so many friends through the Sugar and Crumbs Cake community. Absolutely. They're just yeah. like meeting up. Yeah. It's lovely watching them all meet up, to be fair. I know. I know. It was, it was horrible when we had to cancel. And where's the demo day at? Thornton Hall. Thornton Hall, said. yeah. Thornton not hall. Thornton Manor that got burnt down, or not burnt down, but badly damaged a few months ago. Um, it's Thornton Hall where we usually meet in the Crystal Room. Yeah. 
Exactly the same. Is that the one where I've been to before? No, that was um, that was. Um, um, I can't remember the name of it now. Uh, well, you can book me down for a anyway. ticket. I'll come. Right. It is a lovely venue. Really nice. Um, sparkly and nice. Okay, where's my dress? Uh, oh, yeah. right. So, so what I've done, I've embossed it first. Now you can go over with your lustre. That will really make it pop. Um, let me, I'll go over with this one. Mm -hmm. oh, doing all sorts on there now, but you can see how a little bit of lustre does make all the difference. And then you, you can take out what letters did you use for that one? Large alphabet and key. All right. Is that up north? Yes, it is, Linda. Um, Marion is on the Wirral over Liverpool way. So it's over there. Well, on the Wirral. On the Wirral. Yeah. Only because if you say Liverpool, they'll think it's in Liverpool. Yeah, but you've no, got to exactly, come yeah. across the water. <laughs> yeah, no, you've got to come across the water. You've got to come across the water yeah. or up, up the Wirral. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see the difference in that. That's plain, yeah. that's shiny. So you just pop those on there. That's so we good. have got all the dates planned, but we're just going to wait and see how things go first of all. Um, but yeah. Okay, so then you'd leave it to dry, uh, put a little bit of icing behind it, and then you can attach it onto your cake. So this is. This is the one I've done here. Karen Naylor wants to come as well, so that's two tickets you've sold. Ooh, right. Right, so okay. I've told her, Karen, that's two tickets, one okay. for me, one for you. <laughs> what are you saying? No, I've put that on there. And now you can see here, um, I've, so I've did all this I'll show you in a minute, but that's out of the embroidery embossing set, right? And um, it should be a little tiny cutter. Let me see. Nothing in there. Oh, it'll be in here. There it is. And that's the that's the one I'm going to do now, and that shows you how, to show you how to do that. So it's just this this single tier. It's it's great for um, if you've got fruit cakes. You don't always want something massive and and drippy and all the rest of it. It's just a really simple cake um and if it's a fruit cake then obviously your marzipan you're not gonna have a great big deep well you could do but you're not really gonna have a big deep um, fruit cake but i don't think you can see the little pattern there that's from the um embroidery set as well let me just put that to one side um i've got that many boxes here oh yeah so I've got two here. So what I've done, I've embossed, 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 leaving this part plain because that's where I'm going to put this spray of flowers. And that one is when it's painted in. Oh, so, that's cute. So that can be, um, because there's going to be a lot of colour here, I didn't want, I thought I'll leave that quite plain. Um, but right, I'm just going to put those to one side. And of course, if you're going to do a plaque, then we have things like this, which is a good plaque. I love this. But that could go... On a big cake. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so uh, that, that, a nice So imagine this is the top of a cake. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is what you would do if you were going to do a large cake. But this is, these yeah. little flowers on here are fabulous because you can just, just use those on their own. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put this one side. So that's all painted. It's nothing's cut out on there. It's just painted. It's uh, just embossed, haven't you? Embossed it yeah. and painted it, yeah. So she's used the custards, pressed them in to emboss create the design and then paint it. And that's great for the top of a cake. Yeah. And Quick. you can actually bring it down the side of the cake as well. Yeah. Yeah. You can. I've got some whites in there. Bit, it is. Okay, so for this little, um, the little Pico dot. Now, years ago, we used to pipe all these, all these little dots. <laughs> um, to drive me mad. So I brought out the little Pico dot cutter. So roll out your paste and roll it really thin. Don't lift it up and down. Now, if you want them shiny, you're not going to sit and dust every one um, singly. You're going to do the, the whole piece of paste. So you would 
get a... Can I have a close-up look at that cake? Yeah, plus that one. This, you want it? Yeah. I'm trying to see what those little white things are that you've got on it. Okay, so what you do is you would have a bigger brush than this and just dust over the whole thing and then you take your little pico dots cutter like this bit of trex on there and then you would start to cut them out and where's that little cutter embroidery set the, the, embroidery the same set. as the one with the yeah with so a lot of you've got the embroidery set yeah marion's come along I've used with it a, a few times. times yeah yeah but if and you haven't got it, it's on the website, it's in stock, and it's in the embroidery set. I'm just showing really what you can do. I mean, we do, we have got a Pico Dot one, a Pico Dot set, but they're all bigger than this. And I wanted something really dainty on this. Okay, so all you do is that, and then you would just lift and pop them onto... Um, a, a plastic bag, laminated sheet, a little scraper. But it's easier if you just, rather than try and dig it out, pull the paste away and then lift, put it on there, finger on, pull the knife. And because you've rolled out on treks, it will stay down, it won't sort of catch in your knife, uh, in your cutter. So lift that. On your pad, on your board, or whatever you're going to do. Now you can, um, if you wanted to, just paint the last little one there, say pink, peach, whatever colour. So when you put them on the cake, you get a hint of colour, um, just a hint of colour around the the whole thing. Right, I'm going to need probably. I'll just take another two from here. Nice on smaller plaques as well. Now I'm just going to take that away. And so I'll just finish this little bit off. But you can see that I've sunk, the that sunk this plaque into the cake. It's not sort of sitting on top. And I'll show you how to do that now. How am I for time? No, oh, got 25 minutes yet. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Done well, haven't you? Okay. What else are we going to do after this? I've got to spray the flowers to do, yeah. yeah. Don't worry. No, they're they're all, done. all here with you. They're all done. I've only got to do one of each and put them on this pin. So, you see, you just... Now, I like to put them on like this while they're soft because they'll go round and fit the shape of your cake. If they're dry, which are nice, but you can have them standing up a bit then. So, Pat I says, could you use them round the edge of cookies as that she can't royal ice? Yes. Don't Perfect see the reason why that. not. Yeah. Right, yeah, you can use them round the edge of anything. You could put them round the board, even yeah. all the way around there. I was Anywhere thinking that nice you, on the board. Yeah, anything you want piping. Right, so then, uh, this little bit here, I've softened some sugar paste. Now, it is slightly different colour. Um, oh, there's those um, things that I embossed the centre plaques with. But those are the two other little things that you get in with the embroidery set that I've used on there. Um, I'm going to do pink icing. Where's that? In a little you're doing the little top, but there's a little bag little there. Top. That's not what you put in the bag, but is it? Or was that white that you put in the bag? No, it's pink. I've and you had a little top oh, yeah. in. Yeah. In the purple top. So, um, so I've already softened this one down. So that is just lit literally the sugar paste that you cover your cake with. Not flour paste, it's just sugar paste. And I'm going to pop that in a bag with a number three piping nozzle. It's quite um, a large one. You could do it really fine and have a, number, uh, a two if you wanted to. And but if you can't make these bags, we sell them on the website in packs. Uh, you do, and I know you've only got in touch and said, can you bring me a pack? Oh, right. I think we have, we have some in, haven't we? Oh, right. So we're, they're, it's little, they're called silicone piping bags. Yeah. They're just for, this, for things like this where you only want a tiny bit. And the reason they're called silicone, they're not silicone paper. No. They're, they're not silicone in, in like material. It's the paper's got like a silicone coated, coated on, yeah. so it doesn't weep or come through the paper. So you see here, then you can pipe, and your colour, if you if you've used the right paste, uh, will match exactly. So I'm just using a number three 
Hey, can you see that on there? So, Annette, let me just see. Because I, I put the teddy bear's picnic in stock before. Do you want me to do it there? Before. That'd be better. Yeah. Okay. I put the teddy bear's picnic in stock before. And if we've sold out, I'd be ordering with Marion tonight, anyhow. So she can dispatch first thing in the morning. We can, yeah. So what I can do is I can put it in stock in a minute. So this is just literally... Squeeze, pull down, squeeze, pull down. I don't normally pipe over the cake like this. But it is slightly different colour because I kept a little piece of the paste to do this. And then I went and mixed it in with the one I'm going to do now. Stupidly. Right, so I mean it's dead simple. So we've seen all that that's on there. But to actually sink the plaque, uh, what you do is... I'm just going to use the dummy. I don't, I don't want to, uh... So just put more of the teddy bears picnic in stock. Um, because Marion will take an order of, well, uh, by the time Marion gets home, she'll have an order and she'll be able to dispatch it for me tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. You'll we'll have it. Yeah. So really if there's good. anybody who wants anything, I can add it to that order. So how much are your books now, Marion? Anyhow, a few ladies asked about your books. Oh, um, they're only a couple of quid. We just get rid of them. Well, somebody definitely yeah. can have book 19, so if I just send you a list, you can send me some. Yeah. Actually, and then if anyone's ordered to, tonight, they can have one. Well, I'd rather get it to them, but we can do it on your next day. Why don't we do it on your next one next time you're in? Yeah. If we, anybody who orders them, we can give them one then. Okay. Should we do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that'd be good. So, Marion's just very kindly said that um, on a, next time she comes in, anybody who orders next time, you'll get a free book. Yeah, I'll just give do you an them. assortment. Yeah. So, Right, so uh, now this would be if it's a bus if it's a sponge cake, it would be buttercream. If it's a a marzipan, if it's a fruit cake, you've got marzipan. Then you would uh, dampen the marzipan. Now the size of the plaque is up to you. You can have a tiny one with just one initial. You can have a, a, a larger one. I've cut, I'm going to go for this size. This is the one I've got here. Um, so what you do is you cut out a, a piece of. Um, I'll put some tracks on that. Uh, a piece of grease proof paper. Because if you make a plaque and you put it on, even the best person icing in the world, sometimes they don't get it perfectly flat. And so your, your plaque looks cumbersome on top of your cake. You've got to put something round it to hide the join or just leave it with a join so that looks untidy. So doing it this way, it just gives you a nice... Um, a nice finish. So I'm going to roll out some sugar paste. I've got my pink sugar paste here. And that is actually mixed with a touch of your raspberry. Oh, here we go. They want an autograph book. <laughs> Not only giving them free, they want them signed. Do you know what? <laughs> Years ago, when, you know, we used to two books and everything. I might tell you about this. Oh, a rolling pin, a big one. Oh, yeah. Just and um, there's two oh, sizes. Oh, should I very big one. Not the other one. Oh, sure. That's 20 inch. It's right, I'm a rolling pin. The size of that. That's a 24 one. Well, have you not got anything? Yeah, you took out a 21. Oh, one's right. 20. What? That one. That's 20, yeah. Hey? I thought I had to have a green one. <laughs> right, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so. No, years, we sell these as well. Years ago, ago. Oh, do you? Right, okay. Yeah. Years ago, um, I was doing a dem. I won't say where, but um, this girl came up and she said, she gave me the book and she said, put your moniker on that. So I wrote to Monica. <laughs> Oh, dear me. That's funny, isn't it? 
So um, when Marion's in next week, because uh, when, no, when Marion's in next month, I'll remind her to bring a load of books over, and then anybody who places an order next month will pop them in there. So, but I do. I am going to ask you: Can you order me number nineteen? Because the ladies asked me Definitely, I'll put some of each in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and send that over before For tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problem. So I think it was Helen Williams. If you're ordering tonight, Helen, just put a note on the comments. Yeah. Um, that Carol's getting your number nineteen book. I'll ask Marion for it. That can be a freebie corner. Yeah. Right. So don't you roll this out. Free. Roll this out. And I've got to take the and then, then you'll have to sign them all. You know what's going to go on there, don't you? Before they all come out. Yeah. If anyone's called Monica, please. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. That's about right. So you're going to put that over your cake. Okay. Now, I, I, when I'm doing a cake, I do spend ages getting it right. So I'm just going to really excuse any marks and blemishes on this but I'm, I'm not I'm not uh, doing a lesson on how to cover a cake so I'm just whizzing around because oh yeah just going to fit in nicely with this so just to remind you, just to remind you all, everyone, we have Marion in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen to promote all her products on the Sugar and Crumbs website. That's why we bring her over every month, yeah. and um, so she can show you all the products. So we are looking for you to have a look at the wish list, um, see if there's anything there that you like. Um, if there's if there's some of that maybe she sells that you'd like, I can always order it in for you. Yeah. Indeed. So I'm just going around this. I'm just going to trim this down to ball because I've done the cake that I've done there. I've done a, a white cake, but a, a pink cake, but on a white board to match the white plaque, so it all balances nicely. Right. So I've just whizzed round with me little knife. Get rid of this. Yeah, I'm not promoting any other websites. It's not that I'm being mean, but Sugar and Crumbs is hosting this live. Yeah. And it, like when we get tutors in, we're hosting it and we're looking for you to shop with Sugar and Crumbs. So I don't actually promote any other websites. So I've seen some of you put some comments up. I've just deleted them actually, just because we've got to remember this is a Sugar and Crumbs platform. Yeah. Right, so... I have the smoother, I mean, I, I do have the big smoothers for the side, you know, the deep cakes. But these, I, I like this one for the top because there's no sharp edges. It's everything just sort of softened off there. And then I like one with a straight, sharp, straight edge and that goes down on the board. Then, once you're happy with your cake, which that will have to do uh, for tonight, I usually take your ring off as well. I've lost three wedding rings now and Jerry's. Um, just let me answer this question. So Lisa Barker, I've just deleted that Danny's comment. I don't. I think he is a bit of a spammer from what I just saw him read. Are you saying that he's in the Sugar and Crumbs community group? Because if he is, he's getting binned out. Right, so I'm using the same size board that I used to make the paper template, which is under here, yeah? And just to answer another question, so Gillian, uh, Marin used the mini embosser to, um, she, she used it and then she cut out letters with it with the large alphabet and key set. Mini quilter. So, the mini quilter, yeah. yeah. So that you can, see, when, when she puts it on, you'll see it in a minute. Yeah. So, you've, so, so you've got, how clever is that? You're so because you've got your again. paper in there, that, that has just peeled out nicely. So you use the same size ball to cut round and the paper stops it sticking. How clever are you? Well, yeah, that's <laughs> not, isn't it? I'm well yeah. impressed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm well impressed with that. You take that out, you yeah. cut now, and then you start to just smooth that round a little bit. And then you take whichever plaque you're going to use. So there's nothing, no board on there. Push that in, push it down. And then, oh, don't try not to get pink colour on everything. And then you just go run your finger round the edge like that and then you edge it with it could be a sausage of paste it could be crimped sausage of paste 
all those nice little um, ones that we've got there. So it's a sunken plaque. Really nice if you're going to make plaques for occasions like Christmas, Easter, make your plaques now in advance and then you, you've got them ready just to pop in there. Um, so smooth, just take a little time smoothing that round. I'll have to get that off after. But that's so that is really how you do that. Now, so you're you're all okay with the with with everything with the cake, yeah? Yeah. So I would then put that onto an iced board, a white iced board. Now for the flowers, I'm using, and it's really quick this. Just have the slip of water though. <coughs> my tongue stuck to the roof of my mouth. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. Oh, you are, so yeah. Sorry. Just right. nip down the other end of that. I know, drink. I know, I should have done. I'm, I'm just asking Terry to just knock it off. Yeah. <laughs> right, so this is. It did help you doing twirls around the freaking floor there. We didn't know what you wanted. Oh, doing the dance. <laughs> <laughs> Simon caught me the other day. I said, just take a drink and then just freaking film me oh. taking a drink. <laughs> it's like being at home, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So okay. in this set, you get this one, which are the sta edible stamens, flower, and these leaves all go together to make one. You also get this, which is the, the garland, which is lovely on the board, painted around the cake, or on cookies. So that one I've just uh, embossed part of it across a cookie, white satined it. This one... Um, I've, I've painted in so it's entirely up to you I just need to ask you a couple of questions so these are cookies aren't they yeah edible cookies that you can eat yeah so that's sugar paste on the top and yeah. then you've used flour paste for your cut decorations yeah yeah anything anything cut out is flour paste sugar paste is way too soft even sugar paste with tyro or contrary yeah. or anything like that in it's too soft you need something and you will if you're having trouble with patchwork cutters that's usually the problem Use the, the flower paste because um, it, it is a lot firmer yeah. and you, straight away you'll feel it. Yeah. I went through the other day, uh, the lady on the phone that was having problems and um, with the cousins. And um, we went through the whole thing and with, she got the flower paste. Brilliant. She did it straight away. Right. And I do agree with Debbie. You could use the PME round cutters for cutting out that circle. So those who've yes. got your 19 cutters, if you don't, if you haven't got a card, you can. Well, you've got loads of circles in there. Yeah, 19 and of them. Just go, <laughs> just go with whatever size. size you, you don't want. have to yeah. have that size. You can also um, use them for cookie, cutting round cookies with as well. Yeah, yeah, lovely. Right. So for the leaves, you roll out your flower paste. I'll just move that up a little bit. And roll, don't lift. They're very pretty, Mary. They're really handy, those leaves, for all sorts. Uh, a, a nice background to... Um, okay, to, to any flowers, really. Right, so, this, the, the clasis has, has these shaped leaves. Hang on. So, Marion uses uh, Renshaw um, modelling flower and modelling paste. You could use squares, that's good. Um, I think we sell Smart Flex modelling pa flower paste as well, as well as the sugar paste. They're all quite firm, then. Yeah, they are. It's what you're used to. Needs to um, be a, it's worth trying other things. Needs thing. to be a flower paste. Right, so roll that. Um, that was a little bit thick, and that's why it's stuck in the cutter. Plus, you do need plenty of tracks on there. So, you cut out the large one. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but they, these two leaves, they have a, a, a jagged side and a smooth side. So you need to cut out one of each. I didn't track that. I've got away with that. Right. So I'm just going to lift those onto a sponge pad. So I'll just pop those on there for now. So you need per, per leaf, per one of these, you need one each of those. So I'm going to soften 
around the outside edge. Now, if you were going to wire these into a spray, and I would love to do a, a wired spray uh, at some point using patchwork cutters because um, you can use all your bits that, you know, you, you always make too many. So you can always get a nice spray out of them. Right. Um, so a little water on there. And then that one goes on there. So if you're going to wire these, it's this centre one, the big one, that you would wire and then just attach these two onto it. So there would be a wire coming out here. Right, so then you would leave these to dry. Now you can leave them on the scrunched up piece of paper or on a piece of um, foam. Can I just answer a question? Flower paste, if you keep it in a Ziploc bag, it will keep, okay, keep the air out of it yeah. and it will keep. If you cling film it, it won't. Cling film breathes, believe it or not. Yeah. So it doesn't breathe up and down, literally breathe, but basically it lets air in. Yeah. So like you'll see Marion's got all these bags here and they're, they're just like little Ziploc bags, that, that's what they are. And you can keep your flower modelling paste in them. So the lady just yeah. asked a question about that. Always, always keep it covered. I mean, I've got this out here, um, but I'd yeah. also, um, I know you're saying about doing the um, shed and the, the greenhouse at some point. And that would be a good den to do to to show about the Mexican paste and, yeah. and why that's different. A lady did ask before was using Mexican paste. And right. I, I just said it was florist paste. No, it's, it's flower paste and never really. I, I I like homemade Mexican paste. You came on and did a homemade demo years ago. Do you remember? It's on YouTube. Yes. You did it. You, you did it here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So I'm using the pink. Yeah, so yeah, if you leave it in cling film, it will go hard. Yeah. And uh, you can microwave it and save the middle bits, you know, chop off the crusty bits. But um, you'll, it's best if it's in a zip lock bag and take all the air out and roll it round. You'll see Marion just keeps doing it all the time. Yeah. And put um, it back in as soon as you can. Yeah, that's the thing. Another good idea, if, you just, if you're going to use a lot of it, have um, a cup. Um, a couple of cups and then you can actually put turn cups it. over them, have them upside yeah. down and turn a cup over and just keep lifting them up as you need them and then put them away later. Right, so I'm just going to put these on here. Now what I like to do uh, before I do anything else is just dust around the edges. I don't dust petals like this when they're dry because it, the, the weight of your brushing can snap the petals. So I like to do it at this point because you see here some of them are quite narrow. Not so bad if it's a big open flower, but these um, I like to do this way. So I'm going still with my um, mulberry, which is over there. So I'm going round the outside edge, like so, just as I did with the teddies. That's my artistic skill, really. All I can do is brush around the outside edge, but it always looks nice. Um, yeah, you always do that. It's, and it's very good. good. And yeah. just if you are putting um, modelling paste in the microwave, you pop it in for five second blasts and you knead it as well. Don't put it in longer and then go and knead it. You'll burn your fingers, Ooh, yeah. as somebody has just said. Yeah. It's sugar and it gets very, very hot in the centre. So it may not feel so hot on the outside, but the centre will be a red hot. So what I'm using now is the frilling stick, the gem frilling stick, right? Uh, it's textured, so I'm just going across each petal with that. And then I'm turning it over onto a sponge pad. And the reason why I'm turning it over, I'm going to soften the edges, and if I do that, um, you'll notice it, that it'll stretch the colour that I've just put on. Um, you'll have like a, a, a lighter band around it. So I'm just going over that. You don't put any green in the centre of this, by the way. You just go straight in with your stains in a minute. So turn that over and then um, half on, half off the paste, like that. Half on, half off with your bone tool. Have you got Rose Garland in stock? Rose Garland. Did we have a, co did we have a conversation about the Rose Garland? I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Um, I'm just at Maria, I'm just asking... Um, Maria, now, I'm sure that you are out of stock. I think we are. Yeah. Because um, that's one of the things I'm waiting for. Oh, right. And okay. I meant to ask you for the diamond side as well. Have you got them in stock? No. Oh, yes, we have. Right. Yes, we have. I thought we hadn't, but we found them. 
<laughs> right, so that, so you've got your flowers in your little pot, like in your little dish. Now, some of these dishes uh, can be quite uh, shallow and, and, and small, so do make sure you get a nice rounded one. And then you have yellow paste. And I'm going to work this on a cocktail stick. Anyone see a cocktail stick? <laughs> uh, there should be some in the cupboard here, or if you oh, brought some with you. Oh. Just have a look here, then in a silver tin. Oh, yes. Oh, well, there they are, yeah. Fantastic. So, you don't wet the stick, unlike when I'm doing a rose, a small rose, um, on the cocktail stick. You don't, you don't wet this, you just make a little cone and just stick it onto your cocktail stick. Now this is the stamen cutter. Now yes. you know just one second. Yes Marie, it's out of stock with us, but I have been chasing Marion for it. That's why I know it's out of stock with Marion as well. What the so rose the, that rose garland. Yeah. So as soon as it, I'll I'll send Marion an email tonight, reminder and she can do a double check tomorrow. I will, I'll check um I will. Right, so you roll it thin, right? And because it's thin, and because this is really detailed, you load this tooth part here, this um, Trex, okay? Then you put that on top. This is one of the only cutters that I say, you put the paste onto the cutter. Normally it's the cutter down onto the paste, but this one is slightly different. So I'm just gonna turn it over and give it a little swizzle. Right. And now, oh, even that looks, that before, looks as though yeah. it's cut through, but yeah. actually it isn't. You've got to do that. Now, right in the beginning, this is one of the first ones that I designed for this oh, cutter. Yeah. And a customer said, well, why don't you, why, or why didn't you go across that way with the plain side? It'd be cutting two out at the same time. And I thought, yeah, why didn't I? So the next ones I did for the Grandi Flora Rose, I think it was one of them anyway, cr large Christmas rose, I did that. So you actually get two out at the same time. So that's on there, and then you just hold the paste there and you pull that out. Now, don't take any notice of all that. I'll show you how to get rid of that in a moment. How did you think of that? <laughs> oh, actually, much. How on earth did you just lie there and think of that while you're in bed at night? Well, obviously I didn't think hard enough because yeah. I would have done that, <laughs> set the double one. Right, so you pull that out, right, and I'm good now, how great are those for eyelashes? Oh, <laughs> if, you've got, if you've got a big monster cake, our eyelashes are. Big. Now this is this is a new toothbrush, and all you need to do is that, just to get just just to remove all any little bits that stick in there. Sometimes they don't, and sometimes they do, and you do two layers, so that's why I'm I'm getting rid of those. Too. Right. So water. So I like these with the with the te the teeth, if you like, the jaggedy bits away from you and again you can make these well in advance you can do them in lots of different colors this is actually uh, the montana clematis and it's called elizabeth this this shade is called elizabeth it's probably not as pink as it should be but right so i've rolled that up now the important thing i don't know if you can see that it's flat on the on the base i haven't gone up in a spiral it, you, it's important to keep the base flat doesn't matter if it's come off the stick that's fine and then i'm just going to cut another one out so maria's just asked do we have any icing sugars on offer john's popped a new bundle on and it's the top five flavors for 10 pound works out a two pound a bag so um yeah so there you go that offer's gone on today right so just go around that again over with your finger you must do that finger you can see the difference if you don't it hasn't cut through okay i've lost a few there no worries nobody's going to notice so give a pull just poke that out and let it dangle and just ease it out don't don't be tempted to give a, a sharp um, pull there and then again before you use it again i'm not going to use it again now but i just want to make sure that all my little bits are out there for anything else time Right, so then, nearly there now, guys. Now this one goes on. Again, keep the, the base flat. I'm just going to lift that up and roll. OK. 
okay so I've, I've got two layers on there now a little water not too much just on the tips and what I'm going to do now I'm going to put this into sugar tax you can use use your imagination you can use ground rice with yellow color in it you can use uh, whatever you don't you can, get, you can color your sugar crystals, can't you? You can your sugar crystals. So if, you got, yeah. if you got your granulated sugar, uh, well, your caster sugar, yeah, caster sugar is best. Yeah, and then just put it in a little Ziploc bag with a little bit of color in. Yeah, give it a shake. Give it a shake, and there you go. You've got colored crystals. We it's, used to sell them, but they don't they don't sell very often. I think no. it's probably because people make their own. But they do, yeah. So um, I've just got loads to me to use up. <laughs> Right, so then a little green colour on your brush, just tap that in the middle, like that. And then water, I'm only going to do one flower because I've got some ready done there now. Again, you can use glue if you want to, but you can just use. Now, take that off the stick, hold it on there, drop it in. And the nice thing about this is they're, to they're totally edible. There's no, there's no wires, there's no cotton stamen, so you, on cupcakes, fine you can put the little flower on cupcakes no problem so when you've got your flowers right I'll just put those to one side you could use them for um, oh no it's a different flower I've got anemones but that's different right so the leaves you can see there that's one that's not colored not dusted can you see the difference so I would just get um, a dark green brush dark green color And just brush that dark green around the outside edge. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jenny. She colours semolina. Yeah, perfect. Good idea. Yeah. Right, so, that, so you can see the dark green there. And then I use the frosted leaf, a little frosted leaf up the centre. And that's all ready to go on the cake. So then, um, I, won't, I won't put them on the cake I've iced there. I'll just put them on this one here. So, so the lady was asking about the mini quilter. I'll just get Marion to show you what it did. She lifts it up to the camera. Yeah. So she rolled out the quilter. Oh, that's the quilter. Yeah. Yeah. You see it there. Yeah. So roll out your paste, press that on. And if you're going to have it shiny, brush, color it then, and then cut out your letters. The little stamen cutter is part of the set, isn't it? The stamen cutter is, is part, of the, part of the set, yeah. yeah. The leaves, the, 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 um, you, you can get a couple of little buds yeah. there, but anyway, so this so is just putting this together. The leaves, now. the flower and the stamen cutter is all part of the same set. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to put a couple of these on. That looks fantastic already, doesn't it? You just know how just it's going to look like, don't you? It's just the leaves, the, yeah. you, you know, you can get these, the ones not coloured. You can see the difference between them, yeah. and, you know, just that little bit of colour. And that's why I didn't bother putting one of these embossed things there. I, I thought, well, no, that's going to, that's going to um, put that one there. Put that one there. So, any of you who are in the make it, bake it, decorate it group, I will pin this into the into the group afterwards, and I'll also put it under Marion's name so that you can always go back to it and refer to it. What well, you are in it. Yeah, it's so cute, isn't it? It's beautiful. So then, because uh, you know that when you're in the Make It Bake It hub, we keep everything stored under each tutor so that you can see them. So it's great if ever you want to go back and see how to use patchwork cutters and you're in that group, just go into Guides, go down to Marion Frost and just watch any of her, um, t any of her live demos because all the cutters are used exactly the same way. She explains it each time. So you can just play around with those. I love this, Marion. It might just need a, a pink there. A what? Something pink. Have you got a bud or anything? Did oh, you yeah. say there was a bud in the set? There is, but I haven't brought them. They're flat. They're, yeah. It doesn't make a sort of a rounded bud. But what you can do is just a little ball, like that, into a cone. Brush it with the pink. Yeah, that's nice. Use your scissors just to into four because it's four petal flower so it looks as though it's going to bounce so open a little bit of green at the base a tiny touch of I was just saying i can't believe how much you've shown them oh uh, and you're stuck with it yeah you see that just needed well, you're only five minutes past nine 
Yeah. Five minutes over. Yeah. So you can just see that that needed that coming to a point. It does. Yeah. Uh, you could have just put a butterfly. It looks fantastic. But I think. We're done. Yeah, That's fantastic. Yeah. Well done, Marion. So, do you want to show everybody again what you've made tonight? So we shove a few things out of the way. I will. So, um, yeah. We'll bring back. Well, we've got this I'll... cake here, so we'll lift this up a little bit higher, eh? Terry. So, if you want to lift it, you up, don't need a turning, though, do you? Or Terry can zoom yeah. in, can you? Zoom in or on the out. top of that cake. No, we don't need to turn it. Oh, what she does there. Hey, that was a lucky save, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Hey, yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> isn't it fantastic? It anywhere, it's it? beautiful for Mother's Day, isn't it? You what see, a lovely idea. You see, look, if the board was a little bigger, yeah, that would be nice, there, yeah. And a couple of leaves, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's not, so I'll leave it in there. Yeah, so isn't that a lovely, fantastic yes. Mother's Day cake there? Fantastic, well done, Marion. Thank you. And then let's get back. Thank you all for sticking with me. Let's get, yeah. Well, it's only, it's only five past. Five Listen, they, used, they used to running over. I was like, they were all with me till quarter past 11 last night in my class. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> Those are the days. Pardon? Those, Those are the, are the days. days. <laughs> we have loads of breaks, though, in the class. Oh, well, yeah. Nice. Right, so I'll put that one there. I'll get the. I'll tie you this up I'm going to get Marion to show you everything and then when she's finished then I'm going to show you last night's class and um, I'm going to show you the next two classes that are coming up as well so you can see what's going on if you want to join my uh, Pretty Cupcake classes as well. We've got Kim Firth in the kitchen, Karen Davies in the kitchen next week, we've got a hell of a lot going on, mm. Lee Carroll's in, um, loads of things is going on next week. Look at these, aren't they fabulous? They so the they're your big cookies, nice big biscuits there. Uh, use your PME cut round cutters, those of you who've got them. Yeah. That one. So, so no, loads I of super ideas. Too. Lovely. Yeah. Great stuff. And it's lovely That's to make biscuits. We have a really nice, easy recipe on our website, and it's called Easy Shortbread. Oh. Um, it's on our recipe website, which is sugarcrumbsmixingitup.com. But if you go to our website, anyhow, at the top, there's um, a little link that's... Uh, the link at the top is not working at the moment, but if you go to the front page, there's a big recipe one. Click that, go into there, and then put in easy shortbread, and it's perfect. It's perfect for Karen Davies malls and for oh, your yeah, biscuits. They've got a really again. nice snap, yeah. yeah. Easy shortbread. Easy shortbread. Oh, it's so easy. I see, think. We I like that. easy everything. I think you had a pile of it over yeah, there. Yeah, we did. And it was absolutely yeah. gorgeous. But we had a pile before. I think they could still be there as well. So, because um, we use them for Karen's mould. So is aren't this a fabulous demo tonight? So a big round of applause for Marianne. She's done absolutely wonderfully. Thank you. And then I'm just gonna once she's uh, out of the way, I'm just gonna bring my cupcakes out for all the ladies who did my class last night. So I'm doing a series of classes called uh, Pretty Cupcakes. It's You're great for beginners. Uh, yeah. We're just pushing forward a bit. It's great for beginners. So I'll just grab them out. So you don't have to be um, wonderful at buttercreaming. Okay, so I've put these into a bouquet because I'm going to give them away. I also do bouquet classes as well. So I do like a 7 to 12 bouquet class. That's £20 on the website. If you're in the Make It Bake It group, you can use your discount code and get a £5 discount. But this is the class that we did last night. So we made these ones last night. Let's have a look, Terry. So where do I need to go? Just zoom it out a minute. How many are in there? There's 12. Wow. Nice that, isn't it? So that's what we made last night in class. So that was that was twenty pound this class, just to make the twelve cupcakes, okay? And um, if you've got your make it bake it discount code, you take five pound off. You get the whole class for fifteen pound. There was loads of ladies in there last night. Um, ask them what they think, and then if you want to learn how to make bouquets. We also do 12 cupcakes in that class as well, and you learn how to put a cupcake to a bouquet together. So that's um, class two, okay, part two. So let me just show you now what part three is going to look like. We'll just keep them on the overhead, Terry. Mm -hmm. So these are not in a bouquet. I'm just going to take them out. Just pop them out in the freezer for a minute. Oh, wow. So these are part three. So if you want to join part three, okay, this is what we're going to make in part three. 
So again, it's £20, but if you are in the Make It Bake It group, £15, um, and you're going to make 12 pretty cupcakes. So lots of ladies watch on the night. Lots of ladies do it with, it, with me on the night. They'll tell you I take it really nice and slow, and I do three of each cupcake. So I do one to show you, and then we do sort of one together, and then we, we crack on and do the other one. So they're really pretty, aren't they? You can do them the same colours as me or you can change them and each class I'm going to do will be a different colour theme so these are the pink ones so we've done um, a cornflower blue so far we've done the burgundy last night these are the pinks so let me just get the other ones so we've got session part four ready they're all available on the website to buy now and the groups are ready so that class there, the pink class, is for April, and this one is for May, okay? So this one we're going to build up little, little, um, daff uh, little daffodils, sunflowers. So this is quite pretty. So let me know what you think of these. I actually can't see your comments at the moment. So this is part four, okay? So we're going to do, we'll be doing 11 uh, parts, so we missed January, but we're going to try and do one every single month right up to December on a different theme. So this one here is May's class. So the pink one is for April the 13th, and I think this is uh, May the 6th possibly. No, it can't be May the 6th. The week after, it says maybe May the 8th or 9th. I'll have a look. It's on the website, anyhow. Um, once the classes have been and gone, you can still join them, and then you just watch them at your leisure. And we break them up into four sections, so you can just watch a section at a time. A section's usually about an hour, each section, and we do three cupcakes in each section. So I hope you like them. What do you think, Marion? I think they're absolutely beautiful. Pretty, aren't they? They're gorgeous. So I'll put them on there. I'll move the cakes out of the way. It's all right. No, you don't need to move them out of the way. There we go, let's put that over there. Yep, good. So then let's say a big thank you to Marion and Terry. And thank you, Terry. Yep, and these cakes, you need to give this a go. So do you want to tell them again? This was a 10 inch square. You've just 10 inch square, square, cut into three strips, and then just stacked. Fantastic, fantastic yeah, idea, yeah. isn't it? So uh, you should be able to make this, ladies. This will be fantastic. And I love this for Mother's Day. Wonderful, isn't it? You are I a think, clever girl, aren't you? I think it aren't needs you? a little bit of lilac or blue in there, but anyway. Yeah, I think it looks beautiful as it is. Thank so, you. So, great. So, when's your next date? You're in now, then? Um, pass, is it? You're in, you're in, in May. You're March, in April, aren't you? April. So, yeah. Marion's every month, okay? Yeah. And she is doing the demo day for June. Yeah. So, I think it's June the 18th, is it? Yes, yeah. it is. So, yeah. uh, the first demo day is in May. That's Karen and I. And Marion's going to come and do the second one for June. Yeah. So, uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of her. So, enjoy shopping tonight, okay? Have a super duper weekend. And I am up in Durham on Monday. Yeah. So, if anybody's in Durham Town Centre on Monday and fancies the coffee and Costa Coffee, Costa Coffee, let me know and uh, I'll meet up with you for a quick coffee. So, uh, I'll be setting off in the morning. I don't know how long it'll take me to get there, but I'm going to pop up there. Hopefully, I'll meet up with a couple of other ladies that I know. Yeah? Hopefully. All right, then. See you soon. Have a super weekend. And thanks, Marion. Oh, Good girl, as absolute usual. Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> All right, then. Thanks, Terry. Bye. 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 Thanks, ladies.